Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, around the 11th. But you know, the timing is fluid, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we got? What kind of message do we have to deliver today? This is the after tarot. And I feel like it was very prominent for me to use this deck. It's like after something has happened. So let's see. What do we got? The after fact, right? What's going on? What's going on? Let's see. What does the future look like? What's going to happen next? Ooh, Ten of Wands. Now, this guy looks like he has released something. He stopped. He's released. He's no longer holding on. He's let something go. Uh, he still has uh, one of them in his hand, though. That's the Ace of Wands in his hand, right? It's an opportunity. So he's decided to let something else go and hold on to one thing instead of carrying all this baggage, instead of hanging on to all this burden. It looks like he has reached a breaking point of some sort. This is a breaking point. He's tired. He's given up. He's not going to hold on anymore. He's, he's, he's decided to give up. So he's made his decision. He's he has. He's made his decision. He's got an, he's got a new opportunity in his hand. It could be a new partner. Okay, because the Ace of Wands could be some some a new partner. Okay, but this is definitely an opportunity for growth. Um, he's let something go, but he's still holding on to one opportunity. Um, looks like he's hanging on pretty tight to it too. He's made his choice. I don't need all of this. This is the only one I need. That's that's the only one I need. I don't need to carry the rest. I don't need to have all of that. This is the only one I need. So this guy has made a decision. It looks like he's holding on tight, too. He's going to hold on tight, or he is holding on tight. He's. He, this is the only one I want. It's the only one I need, however that resonates. Um, he looks pretty content, too. Relieved. It feels like he's relieved, even though... You know, there's an element of sadness, I feel. Hmm. Interesting. Six of Wands. Oh, look at look at this. This maybe somebody has won his heart. Somebody may have won his heart. You notice he's giving her the victory wreath. He that's a victory wreath. This is victory after sorrow. Looks like, like this is, uh, somebody has chosen, they have chosen. People may be surprised with the choice. I think people are going to be surprised. It looks like the horse is even surprised. Huh, this is an element of surprise. This guy is a warrior. It's, it feels like he said, come on over here, come over here, and he gives her something. Nine of Wands, and, and usually the Nine of Wands, it's one person that has been struggling, but somebody has come to help. So if one becomes two, one becomes two. This person has been wounded. They have been wounded, very, very wounded, and has their guard up. But now this warrior or this hero or this very strong individual... has come this person is coming to help coming to the rescue seriously coming to the rescue it looks like this wounded person is going to let them in is going to let them help hmm. 
this guy uh, may be sad. He's sad. He's sad for some reason. He's, he's, I don't know, he was trying to prove his strength or trying to prove something. He was by carrying that, by carrying some sort of burden. But now he's released it. He's released something and he's moving forward. He's made his choice by the looks of things about who he's uh, wants to be involved with. It feels like and wands are all about passion. These are all wands. So this may be, I don't know if it's sexually related in some kind of nature. Um, but it doesn't have to be. But it feels like somebody is coming to the rescue. This is definitely, you know, somebody coming to the rescue, coming to help. Help this wounded person recover. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Now this person has decided to take what they can get and leave the rest behind. It's almost like love the one you're with, something like that. But to leave the run, leave the rest behind. Um, this is unrealistic. There's somebody is is taken off. They're taken off. This is unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. There's no more growth. This is this is. Um, Sixes are taking a journey. So it looks like we have somebody here that is traveling towards, this person is traveling towards somebody that needs them. Okay, this, obviously this person has very wound, is very wounded and needs some sort of help. But the seven of sort, the seven of pentacles reversed is the decision, and this one, the decision has been made. Definitely the decision has been made. There's no reason to stay where I've been. Somebody has decided there's no reason to stay. There's no reason to invest in something that's not going to grow. And there's an opportunity for growth. So there's definitely an opportunity for growth someplace else. But somebody was really being stubborn. They were, uh, maybe they, who knows why? Justice. Trying to do the right thing. Could be dealing with a Libra, but this is about doing the right thing, acting with integrity, trying to keep things balanced, trying to be honest, telling the truth. It feels as though there is some sort of, uh, feels like there's some sort of finality here because this is the after, a final decision. The final decision has been made, put it that way. So I don't know how this resonates with you, but somebody, this, like I said, way back with this first card, and this is very final. Somebody has made a decision to let something go that they were holding on to. The decision has been made. There's no growth here. This is unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. It's like they've made a choice. They've made some sort of choice to go someplace else. They have. They're headed towards, obviously, this nine of wants is a, is a big challenge it's like they're they're headed towards somebody who really needs their help this person is guarded and defensive you know and uh probably doesn't want to let anyone in but this person is a warrior the six of wands is a warrior this person has has already fought a hard battle in their life and they've seen it all so this person has seen it all and they're they're coming anyway it's like i'm i'm coming to the rescue the final de the decision has been made the decision absolutely has been made with, with those two cards I know that it has um, fighting demons this person is fighting demons and they are ready to fight they are ready to fight they're, they're done uh with the depression, they're done with the anxiety, they're done repeating patterns. This guy is ready to fight. He is. He is definitely ready. Now, justice is a card of doing the right thing based on the truth, based on the facts. This guy can't take it anymore. He's been trying to prove something. 
He can't take it anymore. Karma is real. So this is a card of karma. So I'm wondering if this guy has faced some health issues or some financial burden. Because this is financial and this is burden. He's, and this is karma. So karma may have paid somebody a visit. And now this guy is like begging, begging for mercy. These people are begging for mercy. So somebody is like begging for mercy. And, you know, karma says you must drop this baggage. You must drop this burden. And do the right thing. Perhaps there is somebody that hurt another person because this person is wounded and they're coming to apologize. And I don't want to get your hopes up, but and this person has been very wounded here. This person looks like, mm, I'm not sure. I want to help. I want to help you, but I'm not sure if I'll be accepted. But this guy's a warrior. He's seen it all. He's strong. Very, very, very strong. He is definitely ready to fight. So we have somebody here that is ready to fight. They are ready to battle by the looks of things. This person is, um, it's like they're letting go of fear. And, and you, you notice he's got the sword of power and the sword of truth and the sword of communication in his hand. So he's very powerful. He's going to come with honest communication. He is ready. He's sitting up. He's ready. He's ready to go. It looks like he's ready to go. Hmm. Ace of Cups reversed. Oh my goodness. Ace of Cups, that's a lack of emotion. Okay, that is uh, drowning in emotions. Somebody may be drowning in their emotions. They're feeling a lack of love or... They're feeling unloved or they're looking for love or there's an emotional blockage. Um, somebody is has been shutting down emotionally. Their heart isn't being fulfilled. Okay, so this is emotional shutdown. I was going to bring my camera up um, so we can get a better look at those. Hold on. There we go. So, um, this person has been in a state of depression. They have had a lot of fear. They've let anxiety consume them. They were unable to speak their truth. They were unable to move forward. They were trying to prove some sort of point and it's caused them to be exhausted. They're just to the point where they can't do this anymore. They're overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed with carrying this burden. They've been holding on to this burden. They've been holding on to something and it's, it's killing them. And so I feel like now this person is ready to face their demons and they are ready to face the truth and they're ready to tell the truth. And I think they're ready to tell the truth perhaps because karma has paid them a visit. And this visit could be in the form of health issues or financial burden. Now this person has is being is being um you know if you take a look at the six of wands he, he is that's that's a victory after sorrow he's he's giving her something he's giving this woman something and these people look like look to be surprised you see the look on their they're surprised this is maybe a surprise to others the the, the outsiders or the family or the people that are in this person's circle may be surprised that you know this guy has chosen her Okay, so I think it's an element of surprise. This person is probably coming. They could be coming to apologize or they're or they're they're coming forward. They're facing their fears. Maybe they're fearful of rejection because this person has been so wounded. This is a wounded person who has their guard up and doesn't dare to give to anybody um, because they've been so hurt in the past. But this person is, is coming anyway. Um, it, it has been through a battle themselves and is just like, you know what? I'm here for you. Let's do this together. That kind of thing. Um, there's been a lack of investment. There's been a lack of nurturing. There's been a lack of tender, loving care. And I feel like uh, we have somebody that has just been laying dormant, right? And, and crying in their own milk and swallowing their uh, truth, you know, not owning up and just not taking any action. This person was letting their... Fears get the best of them, but now they're ready. Now they're ready to fight. They're ready. Now they're replacing their fears. They're bringing that inner warrior out by the looks of things. And I feel like there's been a lack of emotional content and probably a loss of love. You know, somebody's, uh, it's like the love is, is dying. The, the love is going away. You know, it's being, it is. I mean, the, the heart is not being fulfilled. It's like somebody squandered an opportunity for love. They did. 
they did they squandered an opportunity for love and maybe they're feeling a very emotional right now very 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 emotional there could be a lot of tears it could be a broken heart somebody may be suffering from a broken heart because of you know the loss there's this is ob ace of cups reverse is obviously a loss so we have somebody that is emotionally overwhelmed over the loss of probably somebody that they loved. And I think that they lost this person because they didn't take care of it when they should have. They sh didn't nurture it. They didn't take care of it. You know, you have to water a tree. You have to water a relationship. You know, you have to you have to nurture a relationship. So somebody is probably feeling some sort of uh, lack of emotional content because they didn't take care of something. Now they're ready to fight. Now they're ready to fight for it. Now they want it. Okay. Um, hmm. Unfinished business. We got some unfinished business here. The world reversed. Uh, somebody that is stuck in the present. Somebody that was lazy. They were lazy. They were entitled. They refused to listen to anyone. They needed an attitude adjustment. They haven't been able to learn from their mistakes in the past, so they've been stuck in the present. They can't move forward because they were holding on probably to a grudge or some sort of burden, something that, that they were trying to prove a point to somebody, and now they're feeling like this isn't over yet. You know, this isn't finished. I need to finish this, or I'm, I, this is, it's not over. I mean, the world card reverses. It's not over. There's a lack of success, lack of closure. We have somebody here that um, probably did not do the right thing. They did not do the right thing, and now they're not having any success. I mean, this is this is a karma lesson. Okay, this is a lesson. So they're not. They may not be having any success in their business or any success in life because of their past karma. When you don't do the right thing, you know. Karma doesn't let you succeed. It's just the way it goes. You may succeed for a minute, but it won't be long term. So we have somebody that here that is, I think, experiencing financial burdens, or um, they may have a lot of karmic baggage. And you know, there's an opportunity to release that karmic baggage if you act with integrity and you tell the truth and you do the right thing. So anyway. I feel like we have a very wounded individual here that is going to be getting a visit. They're going to be getting a visit from somebody who uh, probably treated them unfairly. I, I don't know. I don't, that's what it looks like to me. It doesn't have to be. Um, there's definitely some unfinished business here and there's a lack of success. But this person is ready to fight. They're ready to fight for something. Okay, what are they going to fight for? A new beginning. They're gonna because the world card upright is a new beginning. I don't know. Is that what they're gonna fight for? What are they gonna fight for? Page of Swords. Page of Swords. So hold on. I'm just looking at this is a different deck. I'm just looking at this card. This guy is going to. Um, Looks like he's not very happy. Looks like he's going to go against some people. He's going to be standing alone. He's going to come with the truth. Even though it's not easy. So we do have somebody that is going to speak up. They are going to communicate. They are going to come forward with the truth even though it's not easy. They're going to they're they're ready to uh deal with the consequences. It's like I'll deal with the consequences. I'll 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 take the uh punishment or something like that. Hmm. We do have somebody that is going to communicate even though the he he lacks support. This is somebody who is standing alone. There's lack of support. Like I said, the supporters that are around him are going to be surprised that he's changed, that he's decided he's made this decision. And like I said at the beginning, this is the only one I want. That's what it is. This is the one I want. I don't need all the rest. That's the, what I, this is what I want. So when you can go against the crowd, you have mastered your ego.
So we do have somebody here that is going to send a message. It's not going to be an easy message, but they're going to do it. And I think they're going to do it because they have decided that this is what they want. And they don't care what anybody else thinks. There's been a lack of love in their life. There's been a lack of emotional contentment. And they're probably sick of it. They're sick of it. So be prepared to receive a message from somebody, perhaps. And this reading isn't for every single person. There's a message that is coming. It's not going to be an easy message. It is not. And it may, when if you are on the receiving end of this message, you may be conflicted when you hear this message. You may be like, what? Are you kidding me? Why now? Why do you want to communicate with me now? Why did you leave me then? Why didn't you talk to me then? Why didn't you invest then? All of a sudden, this person uh, gets some sort of epiphany that he wants to fight for something that he let go. Because he was trying to prove some sort of point. He was. But there's a lot, there's some sort of unfinished business here. This isn't over yet. This guy has decided to go against, I don't know, his family or his people or something. And extend, it's almost like extend an olive branch, okay? And it feels like he's doing so... Uh, you know, he's facing his fear. He's letting go of his fear. It's like, I don't care if you support me or not. This is what I want and this is what I'm doing. So if you are on the other side of this, um, if you are on the other side and you're receiving this message, my advice, is to perhaps give this person a chance because you could have a really happy relationship with this person. This person could make you really, 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 really happy. Okay, this is a Ten of Cups. This is extreme happiness. This is a get-together. This is a family. You could build a family. You could be a family with this person. You could live happily ever after. This could be, you know, a dream come true. Sometimes um, forgiveness is all that is needed really. I mean, if you can forgive and and move on, I mean that can that can bring the ultimate happiness. This is the ultimate happiness. And you know, see so many people like I said earlier begging for forgiveness, you know, when you can forgive, the relief is <laughs> insurmountable, okay? Forgiveness is the huge biggest relief in the world. Anyhow, I feel like there is a new opportunity here. There's a new opportunity for growth, okay? This is a sudden desire. Look at that. Is that like a, is that like a, what is that thing? It's a very fertile time, put it that way. It's an opportunity to start a new life, to start over. So this, this is um, an exciting opportunity to start fresh. So be prepared to be communicating with somebody that you could have a future with. If you can open your heart and give them a chance and let go of your your past baggage and your past burdens we have one person here that made a mistake they were trying to prove a point and I feel like now they're ready for a relationship they're ready for one to become two they're ready for happily ever after. After not being in a loving situation. This is a unrequited love. Somebody was probably in an unrequited love situation where they weren't being loved. But now a decision has been made, you know. Anyhow, that's what I got. Good luck.